Good morning. Welcome to a flu-ridden Anderson's TV set. Yes. Danish Pete is it's, struggling. So we're going to play a bit of guitar for you, talk about these epic deals, and stay tuned as well because uh, Joss Allen, everybody's favourite super shred-tastic guitar player, yes. is going to come on and do something on we a certainly, couple of guitars yeah. that are maybe a bit more appropriate. So look, yeah. it's February 2018. Is it? Um... <laughs> I about now is the time where some of the deals from manufacturers come through to perhaps clear some of the discontinued uh, codes from 2017. Yep. And a deal came up uh, recently from PRS on their uh, very popular SE custom range. These are the Korean made SE guitars uh, to move through about six or seven stock codes or guitars. Mm -hmm. And we did a deal, but quite a lot of guitars. So I think there's somewhere in the region of 150 odd oh. guitars here. Ooh. Uh, not different ones, 150 models. So and the same one, <laughs> the red. Yeah, <laughs> I did the deal thinking that oh, looks like a good deal. Da, 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 da. And then the more I look at this, the more I kind of think this is a ridiculous deal. This, this is the, the spec changes between 2017 and 2018 yeah. are so marginal. <laughs> <laughs> in some instances, in one particular instance, I'm going to show you a 2017 spec guitar that's actually better than the 2018 spec guitar um, and on a deal. But anyway, let's talk you through what we've got here. So the one that Pete's holding is probably the one that you guys will know best. It's probably the best selling of all the SE custom guitars, which is the Custom 24. Yeah. This is a SE Custom 24 in Tobacco Sunburst. Now. You, please comment below if you understand uh, quite why a manufacturer would do this. It's beyond me. And the, uh, yeah, the only difference between the 2017 Custom 24 in Tobacco Sunburst and the 2018 version is the stock code has changed. <laughs> is that it? That is That's it. That's the only difference. That's it. The pickups are the same. The Paul Reed Smith logo is the same. The trem system's the same. The, they changed that recently, right? Yes, that was the recent it, change, you, there is one guitar that's got the old logo on it, which I'll show you, but it used to have a big uh, SE block and no Paul Reed Smith signature. Yeah, I'll show you that one. Okay. There. So, I don't understand. Uh, all these but, guitars come with one of these very nice SE gig bags. They're really nice. I yeah. can vouch for that. They're really good. Uh, which is the same again in 2018. So this guitar, <laughs> normally $7.99, you can see them in shops all over the UK for that kind of dough. Mm. But if you want this guitar, it's 549. And there's no difference. Just a stock Literally, code. Literally, the stock code is different. So I don't understand. I kind of understand why sometimes computer systems need to change stock codes for, for various reasons. Maybe yeah. there's been an underlying change. Maybe they, maybe they have changed, um, <clears throat> I don't know, some material supplier or something and that's the reason why they've got to change the stock code. Rose, could it be the Rosewood thing? Could it be it's a Rosewood still thing Rosewood maybe? on the 2018. Okay. So I don't know. But look, so this so take them through the tones on that piece. Okay. I mean you got your you've got two pickups, excuse me, with the the man flu. The man flu. Um three way selector switch, two pickups, um and a push pull. Yeah. Right. So clean tones into a fender hardbot deluxe. It's just I roll the tone off a bit. I tend yep. to work with the tone just to, you know, when you play around. It's always nice to use the tone control. Because otherwise, why what's is the, it there? What's the point of it? What's the point of no, it? I agree. Just take it away. I agree. Um, so. Well, this needs a little bit of a tighten up. This, this, uh, you, you can do these, that. They, yeah, they pick, they, they just go in, but once you, you just sort of just there, push it look, forward. The, yeah, no, then there's a little push it forward. Key, yeah. It's not even underneath. Oh. It's just literally on the back. Oh, just look, there. you don't have to do that. No, nope, just. I like that. That's really good. So you get anyway. the Allen keys in the box. Allen keys in the box. Uh, I'll just pu pull that so you get. <laughs> Almost that stratty kind of tone. Yeah. There. Good. It's still. A, to me, a, a humbugger when you split it, it's not really, a little bit thinner, it's isn't it? A little bit thinner than, yeah. a, than, a, than a single but it's, chord. You know, it's a nice, it's a second tone, isn't it? It's another it, tone. Exactly. Uh, middle pick up both together. Uh, and the back, can you split that in the middle? Oh, you can. All right. So, all right, let's see. And then, does the back pick up? Oh, that's almost like a reggae. It's like a reggae tone, isn't yeah. it? And you can split that. And then I think you need to get some, some ganache on there. 
So, that's nice. That's it. Custom 24, only in that color. Ooh. It's got the SE versions of the 8515 uh, pickups on okay. it. Sorry, so I, it, I missed that one. No, it's fine. It's so <coughs> basically, <coughs> I don't understand. <coughs> I am just reliably informed that the only reason they've been cleared is because the stock code has changed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, as far as you're concerned, you know, customer I mean, you might have, makes I mean, no difference whatsoever. You'll save yourself, t what is it, 150, What's so, it? almost two, 250 quid. Yeah, 250 pounds. Just by buying on, 799, 699, 599, yeah, 259, wow. 549. That's so, a really good deal. So that's, that's a great deal. <coughs> These are all 549, by the way, except, yeah. except for one. So that's the Custom 24, mm. and I suspect will be one of the first ones to sell out because that's super popular. Um, yes. How many of these? 25, maybe, something like 25. that. 25. Well, that, um, for that price, you should be quick. So, nice. Over here, and nice. uh, good friend of Anderton's TV and longtime uh, Paul Reed Smith fan, Mr. Bernie Marsden, had a few different colors uh, of his guitar released last year. So the, the, the really popular sort of ongoing color is the sort of the, the more like the, the cherry sunburst kind of or honeyburst sort of more traditional color. The gray black discontinued now. Uh, Pick one of these up for five forty nine if you want to with gig bag. So the features on this, it's kind of based on like a SE two four five, so the single cut, so much more traditional vibe. The volume knobs are uh, different, aren't yeah. they? The volume knobs are in a row instead. So you've got pickup switch <coughs> is where you where it might be on a Les Paul. Uh, we've got two volumes and a tone control, so one for each pickup and a master tone control. We've got the wrap around tailpiece now and a slightly. Um, shorter scale length it, than the regular custom So is that 24. more like a 594? Yeah. Uh, uh, well, it's, the a two, scale it's a 245, so it's 24 and a half inch scale length. Okay. Um, it's got a matte finish oh, yes. neck. Um, That's nice, I like that. Slightly hey, thicker Matt. body as well than the, the custom 24. Clean sound sounds like this. <laughs> No coil taps. Okay. Uh, if I drop the tone. Yeah, you just spotted as well, like the vintage style machine yeah, heads. Yeah, yeah, I like that. With a little bit of gain. Those three chords are Bernie Marsden's most famous three chords ever. But in which So you could have one of those full spec. I'll put uh, in the description below, or I'll put links to the full spec. There's not many of these. I think there were maybe only four or five of these. So you might have to jump fast if you want one of these. But that's the Bernie Marsden uh, SE Custom. Like uh, it. Like it a lot in grey black. And I thought while you had the grey black, I thought I'll go straight to the old uh, the baritone. Barry I mean, Tone. Hey, He's Barry. The signature guitar player, Barry Tone. Barry Tone. Uh, from um, the Four Tops. <laughs> he was the, the unknown guitar player from the Four Tops, Barry Tone. I do like a baritone, and these are really cool. So there's two different baritones, so we can, we can, we can do them really quick, shall we? Yeah, actually, that's a good point. Give me the other baritone. That's yeah. a good idea. So baritone guitars are extended range guitars. They have a longer scale length and will typically be tuned to B. B. So you get a... Yummy. It's all the same intervals, so you play all the same chords. It's just a, a lower, darker tone, sort of almost halfway between a guitar and a bass. Yeah. Typically, I think the baritone guy has been a heavy, like a, a, a drop tune like a metal kind of... Kind of, so we'll get Joss to do some of that in a minute. Yeah. <coughs> and certainly the sunburst one that I've got here probably lends itself to that more because you've got the full humbuckers and the completely solid body uh, with the, the fixed bridge here. However, 
baritone can also be kind of a more musical bluesy kind of it's, thing. That's what has happened a lot recently, isn't it? People have been, well, you, I, I suspect that lots of people would have played that kind of stuff on baritones for a long time. Yeah. Like we did in the beginning where I used it for this like bass kind of yeah. groove, right? So so you've, you've got basically kind of the same guitar as me, but with a um, semi-hollow. Yeah. So this side of the body is chambered out, so it's a little bit lighter. With and P90. the P90s to give it a sort of a, a slightly... Um, less pokey and more cleaner. Yeah, kind of I mean, uh, Mark Terry, uh, Groove School, if you check him out on Instagram, he does a lot of it, it's like a, on, on a um, baritone, where it's all really funky. It's just, that is it's great. Like, that is really cool for that. I like that. If you're looking at your guitar collection going, I've got 23 guitars already, I don't need another guitar. The baritone is potentially something that you might want to look at. Yeah. Uh, because of course it, it is just a completely different vibe yeah. to um, to uh, playing a regular. It's got a wound third string, so yeah. you're probably less inclined heavy to do those kind of bends, big yeah. heavy strings on it. Yeah. Uh, as standard, you tune this to B, but you could tune it to whatever you wanted. You go yeah. much lower than that if you wanted I mean, you to. Can, I mean, uh, Rabia uses baritones a lot by chucking stuff on top yep. and using it as an extra layer in your songs, and you know, which is a really <coughs> cool feature. But you know, if you want to groove out on them, you can as well. It's really cool. It's very synonymous with country as well. Joss has just said, if you didn't hear that, that baritones are synonymous with country. I don't know if synonymous is the right word. <laughs> Maybe is it? not. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, but but I mean, perhaps no. has been used periodically. Yeah, so if you would, um, you would hear something like. Cool. So there you go. It's my see. favorite of the lot. <coughs> Absolutely. I think that's often what happens with baritone guitars is you just end up going like, hmm, that opens up some new musical things. Yeah. Now, oh. I do think 
or at least I, I've got an inkling in my head the ninklings. that the semi-hollow baritone is completely discontinued. So that's not just like a <coughs> colour change. Uh, whereas I think the 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 um, two humbucker baritone, this is just this colour's not available. And anymore. five forty nine. Five forty nine. Five forty nine with a gig bag. <coughs> five forty nine with a gig bag. Now there are two. No, have you done the Mark Tremonti yet? You haven't done the Mark no, Tremonti. No, because I thought you? we should. I, I thought. For this next bit, yeah, maybe we should, we get, should Joss. get Joss in to... Well, I'll tell them about it and then we'll get Joss in. Yeah. So, <coughs> two guitars left. Yeah. The first one is Mark Tremonti, one of the big stellar superstar artist endorsees yeah. of PRS. You know, guys like him, Carlos Santana, Chris Robertson. Who else has got a signature PRS? Aldi Miola. Uh, did he have a signature one or was it just a, a special colour he had? Anyway, whatever. Uh, uh, um, Dave Grissom. Mark, Mark Holcomb. Uh, so anyway, last year, again, a bit like the Bernie Marsden, they did a, a limited run of the Mark Tremonti guitar in oh. uh, with these exotic tops on them. Look so at that neck. Yep, yeah, so everything else is that, so it's a maple neck guitar, um, satin finish, big chunky neck, um, trem system. So it's kind of like an SE245, but with a trem system. Um, and yeah, so you had these things like this spalted maple, and I forget what they call that. Zebra. Zebra, zebra wood, I zebra. think it is. There's one more somewhere, but. There's three colors of these, yeah. which we'll put on the screen now. Uh, so these are great. Again, 549 with a gig bag, discontinued colors, so you can't get these once these have run out. So, Pete, you whiz through the, the tones on yours. There's not really going to be any. Uh, I mean, it's very different. Uh, it's very different. It's very, it's very similar. Sorry. Yeah. Right? It's very similar to um, Bernie's. Yeah, to Bernie's one. Yeah. I mean, what is trim system rather than a um, wrap around tailpiece? And it's got the four knobs. Yeah, so four knobs, so it will have a volume, volume, and tone control for each. It's not going yeah. well today. Front pick up, neck pick up. <laughs> No splits on this. No splits on this. That light speed, man. We'll let Joss do all that. So that's the Tremontis. As I said, there's three colors of these. I don't think from memory there are more than two or three of each of the Tremontis. Oh, really? So you so might want to dive in quick. 549 for these. That's great. Okay, this is the silly deal. So I said right at the beginning, yes. there was one of these guitars where the spec between 2017 and 2018 had actually got worse. Maybe worse Wait. is a bit unkind, downgraded, whatever. So Chris Robertson from Blackstone Cherry, Love Lovely him. guy. We yep. met him last year. Um, he's got a couple of signature PRS SE mm -hmm. guitars, this blue one and a red one. The one on the deal is just the blue one. What makes this, I mean, it's again, it's another guitar that's kind of based on a, on a 245 uh, vibe. So 22 yep. frets, slightly sort of shorter scale length, all the knobs and switches in traditional positions. Wrap around, ta wrap around the tailpiece, <laughs> wrap, around, wrap, around. wrap around tailpiece Scottish with one. these little sort of brass uh, saddles. Uh, yep. Intonation adjustable saddles. <coughs> one humbucker, one P90. However, I like that P90. It's not just an ordinary humbucker. This is the 5708 from the full. Uh, it's the full American. It's the proper yeah. American 5708 pickup that is normally only available on PRS guitars that you would spend typically sort of three and a half thousand quid. So you can't buy that on. separately. Uh, I don't think you can buy it separately. Okay. From 2017 to 2018. They've changed this now so that in the 2018 model, it's a Korean version of a 5708. A bit like they've done on the, the Custom 24 where they yep. do like Korean versions of American 15s, American pickups, sorry. But if you get one of these end of line 2017 Chris Robertson guitars, you will get a guitar with the actual 5708 American pickup. Which are in the uh, three and a half grand PRS guitars. Yeah. I think okay. the only <laughs> material sort of difference between a 2017 and a 2018 one is you can see on here this is what the old SE logo used to be so there's no PRS there's no Paul Reed Smith uh, signature so, so not like this one 
Yes. But just let me let me just let you in on a little thing. Yeah. You're not going to play the logo. <laughs> You certainly aren't. I mean, I've got some gaffer tape you can put over there or here, and then you don't even... Write your own logo. You can write your own logo. So, few tones. There's quite a big difference in the sound between a P90 and a humbucker. So here's the... That's that one. Sounds good, man. Sounds that's really, really good. good. Uh, I, I mean, love that's the worth it. That's it. Color's great. It's worth it for getting. So these are fifth, that. these are a little bit dearer. These are these these were eight ninety nine and are now five ninety nine. So I think the discount on them's bigger. But I mean, fifty quid the more to itself. get to to get that com yeah. combination. You know, whether you are into your signature guitars or not, yeah. this is a great guitar. So look, let's get Joss in to play a couple of these guitars with something a bit heavier. Yeah. Uh, I should say we're on a bit of a roll at the moment with these epic deals. The, yeah. the, the last epic deal that we did for a, a, a GNL Telecaster literally sold out within about ten or twelve hours of the video going live. Yeah. So if you like these, uh, and you're thinking, oh, it might oh, be gonna wait a good gonna idea. Wait? Yeah, shall I wait till payday and all that kind of stuff? I get all that. Uh, there's interest-free credit on these if you're a, a UK customer. Uh, there's free shipping on these. Uh, the only get uh, the only thing I should say before you bother trying to order one of these, if you live outside the European Union, because these have got rosewood fretboards. Oh, they all have. Haven't I'm they? afraid it is. It's a no uh, for me. Yeah, it's a bit of a break. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is possible to do it, but there's about another. I'm not going to invest. I'm out. There's, there's about another. Yeah, there's there's about another 150 pounds and a few weeks of waiting time if really? you to do all the CITES documentation. So you, it's probably not worth it on these because it just go adds, and have a look somewhere else. Well, you might as well just go and buy one of the 2018 ones locally or whatever. But yeah. if you're in the UK or Europe and you don't have to worry about all that CITES stuff, these are a super deal. fantastic deal. Super so deal. anyway, Joss, as well. What's this? What's this? Five nine, five four nine as well. Five forty nine. My God, oh, this is my favorite of the bunch. Well, I, thought I didn't you play might. that one, but this yeah. one. Was, I mean, you know, and you know what? I don't have a baritone guitar, believe it or not. Well, there we are. Barry Tone, I said. So, you should check him out on if uh, anybody, iTunes. If any of you fancy buying me one of those, then. Uh, right, let's get Joss. Come on. Joss! And then. I'm going to turn into Joss right now. That's a great are you idea. Ready? Thank God for check, that. Check this. I'm going to go and blow my nose. <laughs> there hey! it is! Oh. Whoa! <laughs> I mean, oh. we should put some heavier strings on that, but we don't yeah. have time. But it sounds great. Uh, this one, please, Monsieur Josseru. <laughs> Not as gainy as this one, is it? No, it's, well, it's I mean, definitely that got that vintage vibe to the. Um, the pickup is voiced a lot heavier on those than the yeah. tre the tre treble buckle or treble boost or whatever he calls his pickup. Right. I know that it's a a hotter output bridge pickup. So lastly, but by no means least, I don't know why I keep unplugging my guitars. I'm not playing any of them. Could you uh, do something uh, terrible? I could try know, on uh, when I say terrible, I'm in a good way. I'm yeah, saying. I know what you mean. Um, on a baritone showing kind of the Pete played some quite tasteful baritone stuff. Let, let's just play some. I'm sort good of at playing nothing dirty. tasteful. Well, that's that, that. I didn't mean that in a disrespectful way, but you know what I mean. <laughs>
So there we are. Thank you to my uh, beautiful colleagues, Joss and Pete here for taking us through these PRS guitars. Thank you to PRS for phoning mm. us up and offering us first dibs on this crazy deal. Um, there you go, guys. Over to you. Uh, description below will take you through to all these guitars online. Um, arguably the best five or six hundred pounds that you could probably spend on a guitar in February in 2018 Very at impressive. Anderton's. Very so, impressive. There we are. Anyway, that's it. I'm in the captain. My name's Joss. I'm the next Pete. Yes, it's grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> Hey everybody, thanks for watching the Anderton's Guitar YouTube channel. If you're a drummer or a keyboard player or interested in music technology, you might find one of our other channels interesting and I'll put details of those in the description below. If you want to find out more about the products we've just featured, please click here. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt like this, please click here. If you wanna watch another video on our guitar channel, click down here. And to subscribe to our guitar channel, click here. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs>